into 764 or once again 76432 which is way too stupid and specific. And also you can kind of see it's like that over here. Kind of. I'm sorry you can't read. Okay, we got, we got two items marked off the list. A blue road sign and a road sign you can't read. There's a southwest uh, stub up there. I can do digital zoom on this camera, but I can't do it during pictures or videos. As in, it's sort of just magnification, is what they call it. But just for focusing things. Which is a stupid feature. I don't know why, like, digital zoom can't be a thing. Because then I wouldn't have, I wouldn't be having to get a lens or possibly a new camera like I'm probably going to get. That can actually zoom in. Because so I could just, you know, use the actual camera's digital zoom. Because, but I just can't do that in videos. I don't know why. But, yeah. Yes! A jet! Oh crap, I didn't know I was already all the way zoomed in. Once again, this is why I need the lens. Uh, I was gonna say I think it's an A320 because it's making that stupid fop sound. It's an A321. Also, uh, part of the A320 family. Which means it also makes that stupid annoying noise. Also, that car didn't stop for the stop sign. I'm calling you out, man. That's a 757. That, the A321 and the A320 all make that noise, though. Passing the contrail right there. And there it goes away. Yes, you may recognize this spot uh, from back when this plant was still green. It was over a year ago, actually. Not last time the plant was green, but last time I was here. And uh, I did a, a pretty uh, action-packed, kind of fun episode, you know. Jets were flying over and stuff, and going over there, and making vapors, and everything was just fun. I mean, now there's definitely a little bit less, and plus it's basically nighttime almost. Uh, but yeah, still fun. Oh yeah, it's that same school bus that has to miss a bunch of stuff. Let's see if there's anything, literally nothing over there. There's gotta be something coming overhead. That's where the show gets its name. Because stuff used to come over. Oh god, I can't do this. I... Are you guys ready for a school bus flyby? Because there it goes. Yes, and I wave to it too. Okay, uh, I think that's H Chase bus actually, it might be, but no, to conclude, well I'm not going to conclude because I got to get some more actual jets in here, but for now at least, I'm going to leave off. Well if this isn't what you call a nighttime dud, I don't know what is. It's nighttime, and we've experienced quite the dud. This is the only jet I've seen in the last 30 minutes, and it just has to be way over here. It's just so nice, isn't it? Love to see it, love to see it, love to see it. Even though you don't love to see it, you hate to see it, still. I'm gonna pretend you love to see it. There's a jet over there, too. I like how the light level completely changed. I mean, there's also a mailman who threw some packages down on a driveway a minute ago, and there's some people working on cables. It is so pathetic out here that I have to record this same jet twice. That's right, this is the same jet that just passed. Oh, there's a really low jet behind me, and now I got this, too. That, that means this is gonna have to turn, right? Oh, this is a big one, too. It's coming fast, and low, and big, and we got this. I don't even know what this is. Either a 7.3 something, or a 7.6 something. Oh, this is, this is coming fast. This might have to, like, way throw the approach. I think this might be a 7.6.3, that or a 7.3.9. One of the two, I can't see when it's dark completely. Oh, this is turning. It's an A350, it looks like. Look how low it is, too. Jeez. Maybe it's an A330, I don't know. It's an A330. A330-300, too. Yes, that, uh... That pretty much completely flips the mood of this, and the uh, 7, I think it's a 739, but yeah, that is the reason we couldn't get this any closer than it was, but still an A330, and I'm going to go over here so I can see it continue its approach. I swept up the wings are, so that might be a Neo just because of the wing sweep. I'm not going to say that though. Whoa, that was really cool. I couldn't even capture it. 
but the clouds are so dense like this jet you could just see this jet here in the front and then the jet in the back just popped out of the clouds and I think the light just popped out and it was it looked cooler than it sounds I guess because that description kind of sounds dumb uh, will we have our first overhead aircraft of the day I'm probably gonna gonna jinx the crap out of that also it looks like that's a 717 with one light working <laughs> I was just complimenting it in the last video which just so happened to be a week ago <laughs> but yeah I was complimenting it in the last video for actually having lights unlike the A320 now it's the other way around except I haven't seen an A320 all day but yes you can see the lights on the 717 as well shining very brightly in the night and not very brightly it's not completely dark yet but it's definitely getting there oh yeah maybe it's 717-QVD or Bravo Delta or Bravo Dixie depending on what type of person you are there's another jet already well, I guess I'll just stay I'll just stand by and this might be my last uh, last capture of the night unless something else decides to pop up and this shit really had to slow its roll sheesh how much it's slow look how slow it's going the video never gives good percent oh look at it lighten up that cloud too I think it was lighting up the yeah it was and now the cloud light is dimming that was this is this is a, looking good I I want another jet just popped out and you could actually see that one sheesh oh, okay this is getting better and better by the minute we're not gonna get an overhead aircraft probably based on the way things have gone already tonight but fortunately this one looks like it will definitely turn uh, after the 717 it's gonna turn it's turning now I think yeah there it goes oh and I was pointing way too high up to even see at that time pretty much this looks like it'll be something there's a truck with really bright lights there but and I can't even see anymore because I just got blinded by the lights I can just play that song on top of the video, right? Oh, this is Continent. No, this is an A320. This is a, this is an A320, and I can't tell if it's Spirit. I think it's Spirit. The only reason I can tell it's Spirit and not American is be, because of the camera. Because in the camera, it shows up yellow, but to me, it just looks bland. That's probably because I just got blinded by some LED lights. But okay, and there's another jet that just popped up back there too. We have a we have a a whole new episode on our hands. Golly. You know, I think this is the second longest video ever recorded with this camera. Because... <laughs> Wait. That's FOP I hear. It's an A320, I think. Look how high it is, too. Look how blinding the light is. There's another jet back there. That's, that might be the last capture. But no, there's like a, a nighttime rush now. Well, it's not completely dark yet, but it's getting there. It's close enough for me to say nighttime. Yeah, it's such an A320 I was just talking about. I never, well, I hadn't seen one today. I think it's an A320. I can't even see it. Remember the LED lights. That's still, yeah, it is an A320, and it's Delta too. Good stuff. Good stuff. Good stuff. Another jet just turned onto the downwind. And there's a star too. Oh, and there's another jet over here. What the heck is happening? Why is there like a nighttime rush? This just replaced the evening rush. Just nothing happened in the evening. Sheesh. Can't tell what this jet is, but it's definitely making some sort of obnoxious noise. It might be. A, it sounds like a CRJ. It looks like it is too. I can see it better in the camera than I can in real life. Yes, yeah, CRJ 900 LR. If you want to be one of those people, or you're oddly specific about every little thing, like me. And there's uh, two more jets lining up. I really need, want, kind of wanted to end the episode earlier, but no, I can't. Can't even go talk to my wife now because I'm going to be watching jets. And finally, I take off too, but no. Jeez, they're lighting up the clouds. I was not ready to turn this on yet, but I turned it on later than I wanted to, if anything, though. But oh, that's a big one too. Way over there. Let's see if we could still capture its. The giganticism. Once again, a word I made up. There's the electrician that we've been hearing for the past whole episode. Finally leaving. Can't quite tell what this is, and it's definitely not in focus. I think it's an A321. Oh, look at that duo back there. 
I can tell the one on the left is about to pass the one on the right. It's a race. Guys, it's a downwind race. Have you ever? You probably have. Sometime. But, yes. Good stuff, good stuff. And there's also still some light in that cloud, so I'm wondering if a jet's gonna pop out. I think it's just these two back here, though. Oh, I knew they were too close. One of them's turning. The orange one. I guess the closer one. Uh, turned. I mean, they were right beside each other, so... I'm not, uh, gonna complain on that one. But, sheesh. I gotta show for you guys. Watch this. You see how bright the cloud's getting? It's getting brighter and brighter. It's still getting brighter. And watch, look, there it is. A little bit. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Oh, it's turning. No. Well, there's another jet back here. And there's two of them, actually. One of them just, one of them just turned. Went to semi-final approach. Oh, that jet just got lost behind the cloud again. Oh, finally. As you can probably tell by the light level, it's been a little bit. Finally another jet. I don't know what it is. It's either a United 7... Oh, no, it's a Southwest Stub. It's a Stub. No, I'm going to record the United. I'm kind of only going to stay out here until I see this Aerologic DHL. Which, it's just DHL. But... Yeah. Wait. I had to spit out my gum. But there's a DHL coming, slash Aerologic once again. And that's all I'm waiting for. I'm gonna go inside as soon as I finish uh, recording this. As soon as I get that. If I get it. I'm gonna bring my radar out here. Oh, look how cool that looks. You can't even see it because, geez, I need to do something with the exposure or something. Because this is just horrible. Uh, unfortunately, the Aerologic kind of betrayed us. But we do have the... Uh, the little lucky breast cancer awareness 764 so no, I just saw that I didn't even know that was coming but it's lined up here on the north side so we should have that pretty soon hopefully there's an A350 taking off once again flight radar is the only reason I know that because it's so dark out here even I can barely see anything I can I mean I can definitely see more than the camera can but I'm gonna go try to fix that in the settings I don't know if this is it it might be I don't think so. It, it looks pretty, pretty teeny. But, we'll see. Yeah, and I heard the, the fop noise again, I think. No, that's something on the, on the interstate. That's a southwest. Another stub, too. Southwest, can you bring something other than stubs? For crying out loud, buy some 900s and bring them in here for crying out loud. There may be the 764s back there. Because I see these, a uh, big light. Well, jeez, he is lighting that cloud up. For crying out loud. I don't know if this is a 764 or if a 764 already bailed. Because it, it was pretty close on the radar. And, well, it, it has to have at this point. Cause, uh, and if it hasn't, it's going to. Because all these things are turning over here. These jets are just cheap now. Because they're like... The ones that are about to come overhead from this direction, they turn over there. Once they're about to come overhead from this direction, turn over there. Like, for crying out loud, why? Is this just, like, restricted airspace? Is right over my head just a bad spot? Like, do we just pick a terrible place to to set our house down if we're looking for jets? Like, what? What happened? 